Hello everyone, today we are going to use an algebraic method to find the set of values of x that satisfies this inequality. Now for this, let's write the original inequality over here. The very first thing that we can do is to bring over the terms to the left hand side so that we can combine all the terms into a single fraction. Now take note not to cross multiply both sides immediately with 2 minus x. This is a serious mistake that many students make because we are not sure if 2 minus x is a negative or a positive value. And if it is a negative value, it may change the inequality sign when we cross multiply. So just to be very safe, we combine the terms into a single fraction. And step number two is to expand the terms on the numerator and factorize it as much as possible. Now we will then have x squared minus 5x plus 4, and we factorize the expression to give us x minus 1, x minus 4. Now since we have a 0 on the right hand side, we go on to step number 3 now, where we will draw a number line. Now this line helps us to determine which values of x makes the expression positive, negative, or equals to 0. So for a start, let's list all the values of x that makes this fraction a 0, which is 1 and 4. Note that x equals to 2 makes this fraction invalid as we can't divide anything by 0, so we also indicate this number on the number line as well. Now how do we know if the values of x over here gives us a positive or negative value? Now we will substitute a convenient value of x, which is less than 1, into the expression to find out maybe a 0 as it is quite convenient. By doing so, this expression will be a positive one and we indicate a plus above the line. Now in other words, if we substitute any x values before x equals to 1, the result that we're going to have is a positive expression. Similarly, let's substitute any convenient x values that are within these intervals. If x is 1.5, the result is a negative value. If x is equal to 3, the expression is positive. And if x is equal to 5, the expression is going to be a negative 1. Now with this information, we come to step number 4. Simply identify the regions that satisfy this inequality. Now we look for negative ones as this is less than equals to 0. So the regions are between 1 and 2 and more than 4. Now since this is an inclusive symbol, we indicate an inclusive circle dot over here. And remember earlier on that x equals to 2 makes the fraction invalid. We will then indicate a circle over here to represent that the answer excludes 2. So we can see that x lies between 1 inclusive and less than 2, and x is more than equals to 4. To answer to the question, simply represent it in this format as we want the set of values of x. Now I do hope you have learned something from this video. If you have any questions or comments, do leave them down in the comments box below. And thank you so much for watching.